been my day oh yes my guys wasn't. i have been so busy today oh my goodness it is my day off um it's monday hi um holy cow i don't know i've been on my computer i've been working on my computer since 11 o'clock it's 2 45 almost 3 o'clock <sighs> never ending youtube stuff um basically i'm always working like when i have a day off i'm working pretty much but yes i am filming two videos today i just i have a humongous update that i just posted on my channel i made a decision today that i'm going to be putting vlogs on my vlog channel now instead of my main channel i i don't know what I feel like my, I don't want my main channel to become like vlogging. I want my main channel to be beauty. So that's kind of why I did it. I'm kind of nervous about it because I'm wondering if you guys will still watch me and like I'll still get enough views and stuff. But I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it'll all work out because I do enjoy vlogging and I do enjoy looking back at my vlogs all the time and seeing like what did I do this day and stuff like that. So that's pretty much, I uploaded some of my old vlogs to that channel and deleted vlogs off my main channel. So that took forever. Uh, also filming a video on the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation and the Physician's Formula Foundation. I'm going to do a review video and doing my Birchbox and Ipsy video, which should be up going up soon. But yeah, I'm just trying to make the best decisions for my YouTube that's going to better me. I got like a ton of dislikes on this week's vlog and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to put these on a vlog channel. I want my main channel to be my beauty and professional channel and then my vlog channel will be like fun, get to know me, personal channel. And I know it's weird. I just think it's weird to have different channels, but I honestly think this is going to be the best thing to do. Initially, I was fine with it, but then I'm putting up like two beauty videos and one vlog every week. And it's just kind of like my channel is becoming a vlog channel. So I don't want that to happen. I want to have more beauty videos. And I've been struggling with uploading too many videos and having a lot to film. And just like having like way too much and not wanting to put it all up. So this will help me with that too. Yeah, I'm wearing two different foundations today. Can you guys tell which one is which? On one side is Physician's Formula. On the other is L'Oreal. And I really didn't want to do this video today. Because this side of my face is like breakout city. And this side is like normal. So it kind of is crappy when you're trying to film a review. And one side is different than the other. <laughs> but hopefully it will turn out good. So also my wing eyeliner is a little bit cray today. It's, I don't really like it. So yeah, that's what's going on. Today is full of YouTube. Um, cleaning. Laundry everything so i will talk to you guys later so i just filmed a birch box versus ipsy on the main channel you guys probably have seen it already but it was a tie I'm really excited to use this nail polish and this lip tint. And from Ipsy, I'm excited for the eyeliner from the Balm. This eyeshadow might be fun, and this smudge brush looks fun too. But overall, it wasn't super exciting. And I also got these new sunglasses from Key or Quay. Um, my my friend Sadie has a couple pairs and she inspired me to buy a couple now, so now I have obsession. Hey guys, so it's like Tuesday today and um, I don't know, I haven't had anything to vlog about lately, but I'm going, I'm actually about to head out the door. I just did my makeup because I want to film a video tonight, so I did, redid my makeup. I actually was working all day and so I had to like touch up and I was using some new products, so I'm looking extra beautified but i'm about to go out the door i'm meeting a friend in like 10 minutes for dinner at applebee's so maybe i'll vlog my food i don't know i get nervous vlogging with friends because i just feel weird so yeah i'm trying to decide if i like this look i'm wearing the new makeup forever concealer and it's really really light so i'm trying to see if i like like how this looks or not but Oh well, it's fine. So yeah, I'm about to head out the door. It's actually like snowing right now, so um, hopefully the roads aren't too bad. It's just like 
a two minute drive, but I hate, hate driving in the snow. Like, it makes me so nervous. But yeah, it randomly started snowing. Work was super slow. So it's just been like a boring day. And I work tomorrow early too, but I don't really have anything going on. So yeah, just like probably gonna film a video when I get home. And that's basically all I'm gonna do. So yeah, just wanted to say hello. And hope you guys are having a great night. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I haven't really vlogged this week. I've been really just working. Um, I have tomorrow off, so I'm going to vlog a little bit more tomorrow because I'm going to go shopping for a dress for LA. I'm really liking my makeup lately. I've been doing super natural looks for work, and I've actually been using my Cover Effects Cover Drops the past two days, and literally forgot how much I love this stuff, except that my tube like broke, so I can't squeeze it out anymore. But I just like take the applicator and like rub it on my hand so I can get some out, but I love the finish of this foundation. I totally forgot how much I love it. Um, I was trying to use up my Kat Von D, which is good, but now I'm like, Finding out that I don't love it as much as I used to. Like, there's so much more foundations out right now that I like better. So, yeah, Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops are amazing. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should self-tan next week because I kind of want to self-tan and get a foundation to match and then wear that for the weekend, but I'm really bad. I feel like I'm really bad at applying it because I never do it, and I feel like sometimes I look better with pale skin. I did it when I went to New York for Gem Beauty. I self-tanned, but then I felt like my foundation was still too light, even though I was mixing, like, bronzer with my foundation. It was still too light, and my face looked white, and my neck looked, like, dark. I don't know. What's the best self-tanner, you guys? Like, what's your favorite? I have right now the St. Tropez Dark, but let me know if you guys have one that lasts a long time. But yeah, I like my makeup today, I like my lashes, I like everything. I've just been happy with my makeup lately, which I think is because I've been trying a new skin cream, and of course your skin is your base for your makeup, so if your skin looks good, your makeup's gonna look good too, but I've been using the, it's in my bathroom, I don't feel like getting it out, but it's, you guys are gonna laugh when you hear it, it's the Bee Venom Moisturizer that everyone used to be sponsored with on YouTube. I have it because they sent it to me. Um, I'm not like sponsored, but they just offered to let me try it and I really enjoy it. It makes my skin look so good. Which I think is because it has honey in it. And it also has the bee venom, but it also has honey in it, I think, which honey helps clear your breakouts. And I haven't broken out like Hardly at all, and I'm pretty sure my period is coming next week, which is surprising that I haven't broken out because I always break out, like, so bad. I have so much stuff I want to do when I'm in L.A. Sorry, I'm, like, powdering my face, but I have, like, no time to do it. It sucks. I wish I could, like, spend a week there, but that would be too expensive. So, <sighs> the main things I want to do while I'm there, I think when I get there, I get there Thursday, I'm staying with my friend Sarah, and she's going to be working with her company, so I'm going to be... Probably hanging out by myself, but I'm gonna. I really want to go to Morphe. I want to check out um, Namies, which is like a discount to beauty brands for professionals and friends. Beauty, they're all like right in a row next to each other, only like 20 minutes away from my hotel. So I'm gonna check them out. I think Thursday, but there's so much other stuff I want to do. I want to go shopping. I might go. Oh, I might go to. Gosh, what is that called? I can't even think of what it's called. It's that really big shopping center outdoors. I can't remember the name of it. I went there last time. It was good. I want to go to In-N-Out Burger. Stop rambling. I need to go back to work and yeah, I'm just on my break really quick, but I just want to say hi and vlog a little bit because I haven't talked to you guys like at all this week. So, hope you guys are having a good day. Talk to you guys later. I am vlogging on my iPhone right now. I forgot my vlogging camera, but it's Friday. I have the day off, so I'm like getting everything done that I need to get done for um, LA next week, so right now I am about to get my nails done. I made an appointment. It's in 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna get gel nails. I've never had them before, so I'm kind of excited, but last night I, like, picked the crap out of my finger, so I feel like they're gonna judge me hardcore, because <laughs> it looks really bad. So, box, of course, just start off my day. Raspberry white chocolate mocha, the best ever. And when the Starbucks I went to is in a grocery store, and they gave me a free cooking magazine. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. But yeah, I am about to head in. I'm going to go 
get my nails done, then I need to run to the mall and look for some outfits to wear and some dresses. So hopefully I find um, all the dresses I need. I have like three or four events I need to have a dress for. So yeah, I am going to, so hopefully I find something cute. I have one picked out already, but yeah. I'm gonna go inside now, talk to you guys in a bit. I got, I just got my nails done. I was supposed to get gels, but they actually did acrylics with gel polish, which it's not gels. I've been wanting to get gels forever and I can't seem to find a place that actually does real gel manicures. Like, they're supposed to, they extend the nail with gel, not like acrylic, like powder and liquid, no. But yeah, I like them anyways, so we'll see. They're cute, she put a little jewel on them and they're really pretty. So I'm gonna try to keep the acrylics and do a few fills um, throughout the next few months and see if I can get my nails to grow. So then I can just put shellac polish over them instead of keep getting acrylics because it's really bad on your nails. All the Steel Holiday sets are on sale at Nordstrom Rack, so check it out if you're looking for some discounted makeup. All right guys, I'm back home. Sorry I look like a mess, but oh, it's been a long day of trying on clothes. I'm like so obsessed with my nails. I love the color and yeah, I'm starting to get used to them. I haven't had acrylics in like three or four years, so I'm kind of excited about it. So they kind of feel weird. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what this amazing deal I got for my husband because he's been wanting this thing forever, so... I got him the Louis Vuitton Monstrous, I don't know how to say that, MM backpack. It's a little one, so it's the MM size, not like the GM, but it's so nice. I think um, he's been wanting one for like two years now, so I'm just like, no, they're too expensive, um, but we found one at the thrift store, and it was 30% off. It's in really good condition, so I'm really happy. It was so from Ulta, I got a few things. I got these Eyelore Lash Glue. This was only $2.99, so I had to get that. I was out of glue. This um, is Coast to Coast Skincare. Um, this is all clearance. I've heard it was really good from one of my old co-worker from one of my older co-workers at Ulta. So I'm decided to try it out. It was like three or four bucks for each of these products. Um, this is the Ultra Soothing Aqua Serum. Deep Pore Purifying Polish and the Pore Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I also, I think I'm going to self-tan next week, so I got this to try. It's the St. Tropez uh, Face tan Tanner. We're going to try that out. And then I got, this is on clearance, Jergens BB Protect Body Cream with Sunscreen. I'm going to take that on my trip. And then I'm going to try out these uh, Mist Spa Exfoliate Foot Treatments. So, yeah. And then I found these two dresses today. Um, they're really, really similar, like lace. I always go for lace stuff for some reason, but I don't know. I might choose one or the other, or I might do both of them, but I don't want to look too similar, because, like, they're very similar. <laughs> they're very, like, lacy. But I have this coral one from Francesca's, and I picked out this belt to wear, um, on my waist, and this necklace to go with it. And then, like, right when I was about to leave, I saw this dress at dry goods and it's like mauve and cream and mauve is like my favorite color you can see it's like kind of like my nail color um so yeah i don't know are they too similar you guys let me know if you think they're too similar i have a backup dress i have like a black little black dress and then i'm supposed to get my stitch fix um tomorrow yeah tomorrow so they might have something in there for me as well but i didn't find any shoes i might just wear shoes that i already have because I just didn't see any that I really wanted to buy. So that's everything I got today. It took, I was shopping for like six hours and that's all I got. And yeah, I was, I tried on so many dresses. It's insane. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is Saturday evening. I just um, got off of work a couple hours ago and then me and Tyler went to dinner. He's sitting right here. Since he's never in my vlog, say hi. Tyler and I was the correct verbiage for that. Did I say the wrong thing? Yeah, me and Tyler. Okay, well, sorry. Tyler and well, I. He's never in my vlog, so there you go. He's in my vlog. He just doesn't like to be vlogged. But um, yeah, so we went to dinner and Donald Trump is here in our town for like a caucus thing. Um. And our town's like super small, like 12,000 people. So we just picked a random place. Well, I didn't pick a random place. I went to dinner because um, my coworker works there waitressing as well. So I wanted to sit in her section. So we get there and there's like all these like, what do you call them? 
Secret Service, Service people, and they're like, ch like have their little things, and they're like Wands. scanning you to like check for bad things, um, <laughs> or metal or whatever. So I was like, oh my gosh! And then apparently, I like almost ran into Donald Trump. As I was saying, my other camera died, but I like almost ran into him, and then I didn't even like notice that he was there. But I was like, oh, the Secret Service people are here. I guess maybe he's here eating. So we got seated, and I didn't notice the whole time. I got my food. Um, it was like a buffet. And then my coworker came to like greet me, whatever, and she's like, Oh, like did you see him? And I was like, Where? And he's like literally directly across from our table. No joke. And she's insane. Just like eating in our the restaurant, like just in public, not in this back room or anything, just there. Which is crazy and I had no idea he would be there. And I'm not like super into politics or anything, so I don't take this as oh, vote for Donald Trump, blah blah blah. It's just that's cool. He's in a really small town in Iowa and just eating with everybody. So, yeah. I didn't take a picture with him. I was, I really wanted to, but I was really scared. I didn't want to ask him because he seemed kind of grouchy like he was eating and I didn't want to bother him. But some people did bother him, but he was eventually like had to cut it off because people just kept like going up to him and taking pictures and stuff. But I did take a far away picture. I'll insert it in the vlog. If you guys want to see it, it's a really bad picture. Yeah, um, I don't know what we're going to do now. I'm kind of out of breath right now. I've just been like running up and down the steps looking for my camera because I wanted to sh tell you guys about our experience. But yes, um, I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. That's all I'm going to film. This week's vlog is really short, but I hope you guys liked it anyway. Next week's vlog, I'll be in California, so it'll be really fun. And I'll be getting back, um, going back home on Sunday next week. So, yay! That's all I have for you guys, and I'll touch you guys later.